Hello friends, uh, in this video we will be talking about the primary treatment most importantly we are not going to talk about secondary treatment here but uh, for your understanding purpose I give this picture together because this is a really nice picture and clearly illustrated too. Now uh, uh, let me take a color okay. Uh, in this case, uh, in the primary treatment, as we know, before the primary treatment, in some uh, wastewater treatment plant, there are uh, preliminary treatment process. In the preliminary treatment process, the basic idea is to separate out huge solid materials or large solid materials utilizing physical methods like screeners, like grit removal and all these things. Now, sometimes people often confuse between the primary and preliminary treatment. So, it's, it's a part of uh, discussion that in primary treatment, and the preliminary treatment both of the treatment are almost uh, made in similar way because in both of the cases the basic principle of the separation is uh, utilizing physical techniques and the second thing is the thing that is to be uh, separated from this wastewater are large solid particles and sometimes in the primary treatment small solid particles can medium sized solid particles can also be separated now here we can see in the primary treatment there are four different uh, possible processes are given one is the screening screening means simply uh, there are bar screeners like that we can just uh, there are comb like structure which can just separate out the particle materials from this water so there is a screen all the time so it's getting up and down all the time thus capturing all those huge materials out there and there are uh, chambers uh, they just take those materials and uh, put them onto the chambers and we, we, we take it and dump it right so this is the process now in the second part the pumping is there the in the pumping is needed if uh, you are having mm, all the systems on the same ground or the same ground level you are having this uh, if you are uh, dealing with this system in the in little bit below level in those cases uh, gravitational force uh, works very well you don't need a pump but in this case uh, in this uh, we have seen a pump that means in this kind of wastewater treatment plant uh, all of this is all of the system or all of the chambers are placed at the same uh, ground level right now uh, the third part is the grit removal now in the grit removal process grit means a very small simple uh, um, uh, simple or small stretches or small uh, particles uh, or particulate particulate matters now the small particulate matters can be sand can be soil uh, you big pieces of uh, s sand and pebbles and all these things these things will float now in this grit removal process we utilizes uh, the physical method like the gravitation for to settle uh, this small particulate materials down onto the vessel level okay and we can take up this uh, material with us with us so this is a process of grit removal in this uh, case and the fourth thing is the removal of the solid now this removal of the solid is being taken uh, utilizing the primary clarifier I don't know whether it is showing or not but primary clarifier is a very very important part because in the primary clarifier the force or the speed of the water or the velocity of the water slows down almost to zero so it's a pretty pretty uh, calm and cool uh, area the cool means not uh, cold in temperature in this case so um, in that case what happens as they are not having any velocity so they just start to uh, separate out from the um, surface portion towards the bottom with the help of the gravitational force applied now uh, and in this case this primary clarifier also there are uh, region there are central part and uh, there there is a scum removal like this now what we call scum is is uh, some floaty materials we start to float onto that upper layer of this uh, primary clarifier there are uh, there are some uh, regions there are some uh, portion or machinery process like that which just take all those things away and wash it into a particular area and put it into the dumpster this is called a scum removal uh, technique now scum is uh, which is uh, placed on the upper layer and grit is which is placed on the down layer right now there is also a central uh, bottom layer uh, central bottom part which is also spinning which is actually keeping on the flow the, which is keeping the flow onto a particular central area which is actually helping those grit to settle down much easily now as uh, these grits are settling down as those small particles are settling down that they can be taken up uh, as a sludge so we call them sludge because they are also nutrient rich those nutrient can be nitrogenous nu nutrient and phosphorus nutrient so they take up this nutrient and we utilize it in this uh, in the sludge treatment procedures which are uh, totally different from this liquid treatment now 
right after this primary clarifier it will go this this water or effluent will go to the secondary clarifier for the biological treatment because in primary treatment all of the techniques we are utilizing are physical means or having physical technique procedures now in all these cases what we are looking at whether we are we, ta we are utilizing the sedimentation well uh, coefficient we are utilizing the gravitational force and we are utilizing the velocity and utilizing all those scum, all the scum removal techniques we are utilizing this uh, screener techniques all of them are the physical physical methods of separating the solid particles out of the liquid particles so this is the basic goal of the primary treatment and then in the secondary treatment we will deal with uh, the organic materials or organic uh, waste which are present in this wastewater which is uh, present in the vigorously fairly high amount now we can do this utilizing the biological weapons like uh, like uh, microorganisms like bacteria protozoans and all this we put them onto the uh, nutrient uh, uh, into the wastewater they uptake the uh, nutrient from the wastewater uh, or, or all this waste materials like uh, nitrogenous waste or phosphorus waste as their nutrient they uh, they will take from the water and as a result water will be purified and it will be ready for uh, taking it onto the third uh, and final layer of this wastewater treatment which is the chemical treatment so this is how it, the whole process is being done as you can see in all these cases effluent will be taken and the solid will be taken for the sludge sludge processing okay so this is a process of primary treatment now the right after the primary treatment 40 to 60 percent of the solids are removed as you can see in this case so the primary treatment is basically deal with the uh, solid removal now in in those kind of uh, wastewater treatment plant where we have both type of physical treatment facility like the preliminary treatment as well as the primary treatment uh, right after the primary treatment almost 7 to 80 percent solid materials are separated or are being removed in those cases right and also in this case 30 to 40 percent of the dissolved oxygen uh, or, or reduction of the biological oxygen demand is 30 to 40 percent right after the primary treatment but that is not too much effective because still it contains the phosphorus waste and the uh, and other waste which are toxic now th that's why you need to go through the second round because organic wastes are dangerous it, it will be harmful so it utilizes bacteria to kill those organic waste and finally right after the secondary treatment you can see 90 percent of the solids are uh, solids are removed and BOD uh, up to 95 percent are removed right so this is the process of primary treatment and I hope it will help you thank you